Hello and welcome to the Imagine Products YouTube channel. Today I'll be introducing you to the various verification types available to you in Shopa Pro's reporting features. Although agencies may have specific types that they prefer, this video will give you an overview of what each one has to offer. To choose the verification types you would like to use, navigate to the upper left corner, hover over Shopa Pro, and then select Preferences from the drop-down menu. From there, go to the Basic Options tab and go down to where it says Verification. Here all of the verification types are listed. Keep in mind that you can also change the verification types used within specific presets. First are the XX hash algorithms. These algorithms are generally the fastest verification checksum and are the preferred options here at Imagine Products. The XX hash family of algorithms are all non-cryptographic hash algorithms working at speeds close to RAM limits. Non-cryptographic functions try to avoid collisions for non-malicious input and are typically much faster as a result. Of the four types of XX hash algorithms, there are three we implement. XX hash 64, XX hash 364, and XX hash 128. Each of these has different speeds and collision spaces. MD5 was considered the standard for years before XX hash 64 arrived. Although MD5 is significantly slower than all three XX hash algorithms, it is still a very viable option and many industry professionals are very familiar with it. If you're looking for specifics on XX hash performance metrics against other formats such as MD5, you can find this information on their GitHub repository using the link in the description. The SHA versions of checksums are generally used to keep continuity in workflows. They are rigorous checksums but are outdated when compared to XX hash 64 because SHA versions of checksums are generally slower than most other verification methods. Another verification type is C4. Like SHA formats, C4 is slow but very robust. A distinctive advantage of using C4 is the production of URL safe output, which means that if a file was renamed to its C4 value, it has the ability to be posted on the web. A final verification option that Imagine Products allows its users to select is CRC32. This verification option is a legacy format, which we do not recommend. However, it is included to permit conformance to older workflows which require it. In addition to choosing your verification types, you also have the option of selecting file size comparison. This option compares the file size of the source to the copy and is faster than the checksum options. While our apps can detect some transit problems during the replication process, only a full checksum verification can ensure the bytes read match the bytes copied. I hope that this video gave you the information you need to choose the verification type that is best for you. Thanks for watching and as always, imagine together.